You are now watching Zach Lesage, the best place to learn about competitive Pokemon TCG. Let's get it! Yo, what's poppin' peeps? Welcome back to the channel. Zach Lesage here. Word up. Today we are going to be going over Arceus V-Star. Now, this particular list was inspired by my pal PJ from the Shuffle Squad. If you haven't got a chance to check out the Shuffle Squad, go ahead and check out their channel. I do regular content on a weekly basis there. Um, but overall, it's a, it's a great build of Arceus. I think Arceus V-Star is definitely going to be the hot card of the set if there was to be a hot card. And there's a lot of ways to play this deck. This is the Darkness build with um, Umbreon V-Max and Galarian Maltras V and a bunch of cool stuff. I'll let you look at the deck list. Um, I will be covering over all this Brilliant Star content. Uh, brilliant stars content on the channel that is so stay tuned for all of that um in the description i do have a link to where i have the translations for i do want to give a shout out to poke beach for uh doing those translations early so we can start playing as a content creator and uh yeah i need to be covering over these decks and giving you my very early 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 stages of these decks so i might be missing a key card here or there uh let me know in the comments what you think about these decks and i really appreciate it give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let's jump into the deck profile and see exactly what's going on so here we have it we have arceus v star a deck that a lot of people are anticipating and after looking at this deck a few more times and thinking about it i actually think that there's probably going to be multiple ways to play arceus v star um if not more than we saw with adp so one of the reasons why we saw this and comparing to adp because they're both arceus and stuff like that and accelerated energies like there's a lot of themes that continue on here um this deck takes pure colorless energy it also has the V-Star ability that allows you to search your deck for any two cards once a game. So I think that there's a lot of ways between the colorless energies, the way that we have to accelerate many different Pokemon. It's going to be very similar to a Mewtwo and Mew uh, GX deck in a way, where you can kind of accelerate energies a bunch of ways. I've seen Melanie builds. I've seen this using as a way to accelerate to other Pokemon, such as Duraludon VMAX, um, kind of their own builds with uh, Charon's Care. So overall, this is my uh, favorite take on it. It is very much inspired by my pal PJ from the Shuffle Squad. Um, I know that he showed me a dark version of this deck and I was like thinking about it and I was like, you wanna know what? Arceus using its ability, uh, its V-Star ability to grab something and then, or grab two cards. One of those cards could be an Umbreon. So you have the ability that searches two cards. You have Umbreon VMAX that could bring something up. You could bring something up, play Raihan in the same turn and grab something. Like there's so many things that you can do. And I think that's why I like this version to start off with. Um, by no means am I saying that this is the best version of Arceus or not to explore other versions. I think there's probably a thousand other ways to play this deck or uh, at least a handful uh, between dark types and water types and other types that just might be relevant so keep that in mind as you experiment with brilliant stars there's probably more than one way uh, we're gonna be starting it off uh, from the far top left that is an arceus v so it does have the attack trinity charge so you search your deck for three basic energies and you can attach them to your pokemon v in any way so only pokemon v but that does mean v v max v star v union um so that's cool it does allow us to go double turbo energy which is the card in the far right right beside me right there um so double turbo energy you can do you do 20 less damage but you can attach it to your v pokemon or any pokemon that you like so for a single energy attachment you can search your deck for three basic energies on going second or uh the first time that you can attack in a game and accelerate them to a different pokemon um Arceus, uh, it also has a 130 attack that seems okay, but that just seems okay. Arceus V-Star is one of the only few English revealed V-Stars that we've seen. So we know for sure, for sure, this card is directly translated in English already, and it's definitely in Brilliant Stars. Um, so for three colorless energies, it does 200 damage and search your deck for up to three basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon V. So basically the same thing as Trinity Charge um, as Arceus V, but doing 200 damage uh doing 20 less damage with uh the double turbo energy so i think it's a, a really great way to build up other attackers whether it's moltres umbreon hoopa um another arceus v v star whatever and it also has the v star power so you could use a v star power uh once during the game very similar to a gx marker or gx token so you flip it over and you're like i'm announcing star birth uh, once during your turn you can search your deck up to two cards um, so 
So basically, once during the game, search your deck for any two cards, put them into your hand, and shuffle it, shuffle your deck afterwards. So that means that you could grab that game winning boss or that Clara for the Galarian Maltris. So this deck can play a few one ofs. Uh, there's a bunch of combos that can be great here. So I think that Arceus V Star sounds awesome, and I'm really excited for it. Um, and just powering up Pokemon and being a generally strong attacker. We have Umbreon V, which is a powerful enough attacker where we could do. Um, I mean, you could use its second attack if it has some damage on it or anything else like that. Umbreon V Max does um, does have access to the double turbo energy as well and can also be accelerated from the Arceus. And you could bring up your opponent's Pokemon. So I think in a colorless based deck or a deck that you could basically play anything, um, Umbreon V Max seems very good here, um, especially when we look at Mew being um, important in this particular metagame. So I think that's uh, pretty exciting overall. Uh, what else do I think is really good? I think that um, Galarian Maltris V is very good. Um, if any of your energies just dis get discarded, you could definitely put them back. Um, get them back with Dire Flame Wings. You have another attacker against uh, various V Pokemon decks. You can see that you could hit different numbers here. Um, so there's a lot of ways to have everything built up and attack and do a lot of damage throughout the course of the game. And we also have Crobat that can also attack, but draw extra cards. Uh, there's now that Crobat Luminion V split. Lumini Luminion V says once during your turn, when you play this card from your hand onto your bench, you could search your deck for a Pokemon supporter. So we can grab a Claire out of the deck and then grab some of these cards back and make things happen. Uh, we can grab the Charon's uh, Care and shuffle back or uh, put the Arceus V Star back into our hand. Like there's a lot of cute things that you could do. Galarian Maltras adds a single prize card attacking element. We also have access to a Pokemon that gets better as the game progresses that we can power up with Clara uh, at the at end game. Search that with Arceus V-Star. Like you could literally go Arceus V-Star, Star Birth, search your deck for Clara, Galarian Maltras, and then attach three energies to Galarian Maltras, and then bring up something with Umbreon VMAX and win the game. Uh, like, I think that sounds really cool. I think that you could go Raihan, double turbo energy on an Arceus V, and then use Dark Signal, bring something up to win the game. Like, there's so many ways that you could have to just accelerate into a 180 to three, like 300 damage range attack and really hit hard against your opponent's Pokemon. Um, Hoopa V does give us an out against Pokemon that are weak to Dark and Psychic. Uh, so if we hit a Rapid Strike Urshifu, we do have an opportunity to attack with that. And of course, we do have Energy Switch in the deck, so we can also accelerate energies with Dire Flame Wings, move that to Hoopa, then go attach, then go Raihan, build it up in a turn, get it back with Clara if we need to. Um, so again, so many cool ways to um, maneuver around with between Trinity Nova and... Um, Trinity Nova and uh, Trinity Charge and Dire Flame Wings and Galarian Moltres Malevolent Charge and Attaching and Double Turbo Energy and Raihan. There's so many cool things that we can do with this deck. Um, so I think all of those are great in terms of attacking potential. Um, I went with like a traditional Marnie research line. I put less um, supporters in this deck than most other normal decks. And we have a few more um, techs, which we, we have with the boss the Charon's Care, and the Clara, and the Raihan. The reason why is if you ever have a dead hand, you could always evolve into an Arceus V-Star and pull off Starbirth earlier than expected. Uh, it doesn't always have to be that game-winning hurrah turn. It could be, hey, you want to know what deck? I really need an energy switch and a double turbo energy to donk my opponent. Or you want to know what? My hand sucks. I need to have access to a Professor's Research. So if you don't have access to an Ultra Ball, Quick Ball, uh, Crobat, Arceus V Star, Stadium in general, like sure you're gonna you're gonna like definitely dead draw and that's fine. I think that this allows you to have a lot of options to just pull that trigger, be all good, and uh, get set up. So that's the reason why we play a little bit light on the stadiums or the supporters that we have there. Boss and research or boss and uh, Dark Signal Umbreon V Max are both I think fair to have that kind of count. Um, Umbre the Dark Signal kind of counts as one boss, even though there's two Umbreons and there's the two boss, so I think it works out well there. Charon's uh, Care is the card to the right of boss's orders. 
and uh, Charon's Care again, fully released in English um, with the preview scan. So put one of your colorless Pokemon that has any damage counters on it and all cards attached to it into your hands. Uh, so if we are able to go Lumineon V or Starbirth, search that up, power up another Arceus, and then ahead, and then go ahead Charon's Care. You can also energy switch before you use Charon's Care and get all built up. So I mean, I think there's a lot of ways in case your opponent was trying to draw um, some prize cards against you. I do want to point out that Arceus V Star is only worth two prize cards. Um, it's not three prize cards like V Maxes. So that's the reason. Um, that this deck is also incredibly powerful is that we have a combination of two prizer three prizer and one prize card pokemon of uh varying types dark uh dark psychic with hoopa and uh colorless so we have a lot of different weaknesses and strength attributes that we're very good with clara allows us to get back some of our energies um if they get fallen throughout the game we also have access to um getting back things like galarian moltres or a crobat or luminion or anything else that we might need to finish off the game we also have access to Raihan here. So we can Raihan double turbo energy, pretty much power up most things in the deck, or Raihan dire flame wings, or Raihan energy switch dire flame wings. Like there's a lot of ways that it really works and having the one of works nice with uh, Starbirth, uh, the V-Star ability and Luminion uh, to search it out. Ultra Ball here makes a nice appearance. We can discard energies for dire flame wings. We can search out all of our different Pokemon, a combination of V-Max, V-Star, uh, basic Pokemon, and we can get out things like Luminion or Crobat or Thinner Hand down for those. Uh, Quick Ball is pretty self-explanatory. I have a 2-2 Switch and a Scape Rope uh, split. The reason why I have this split is for Galarian Weezing. I think Galarian Weezing, as we see towards the end of our Fusion Strike metagame, is quite powerful. It looks like it gets, if not more powerful, um, in our Brilliant Stars metagame. So keep that in mind as uh, we experiment that... Galarian Weezing might become very good. Escape Rope is really good to get around neutralizing gas. And just having the mix and being able to search things out sounds great with V-Star, uh, with Starbirth. Um, energy Switch, I've already brought up a few times to maneuver the energies with the Charon's Care or Dire Flame Wings, stuff like that. Um, the card beside it is Choice Belt. So Choice Belt doing an additional 30 damage to your opponent's Pokemon V, um, which is V, V-Star, V-Max, V-Union, all that great stuff. Um, it does help offset the double turbo energy. And if we don't have double turbo energy, uh, it does allow us to do extra damage to our opponent's Pokemon. So even um, even something like Umbreon VMAX, it's doing 160 minus 20 with the double turbo energy is 140 plus 30 is 170. 170 times two uh, does knock out a Mew VMAX. So it does help with a lot of relevant numbers when it comes to this deck. And I do think this does make it... Um, quite a worthwhile inclusion it's probably going to be a two of in most decks um we also have access to collapse stadium so collapse stadium is our one of our outs here to path because we are a very ability heavy deck with star birth dark signal uh dire flame wings and um of course hoopa and luminion like you know what i'm saying like there's a lot of uh, abilities that we might want to be using a uh, collapse stadium allows us to put our pokemon down to four on our bench so if you have a pokemon that's damaged we could pitch it away maybe get it back with clara um, and then play it back down or we might just want to pitch it away at that point we have a lot of ways to manipulate energies with energy switch and um accelerating energies with um air any of the arceus and there's just ways to make it happen so i think us having the option to discard pokemon and isolating our opponent's pokemon before we play that can certainly be a uh, game winning combo we can also search it out at any time with arceus v star uh, obviously once per game but it is really cool training court just in case we want to get energies back and then we could also marty them back into the deck um same thing you could go clara one turn marty those energies back in the deck attach them with arceus um, and double turbo energy is the card that we have at the end so you can slap it on to any of uh any pokemon but uh the attacks of this pokemon do 20 damage less so not not really mattering too much like 180 180 with arceus v star or even hitting other numbers with umbreon like you got to decide how it's going to work out with a two shot but i think it does work out overall uh so i think this is a great um start on arceus there are a few cards that i think i might want to add or i might want to experiment with adding a few more one ofs but in terms of having a solid build for this deck i think this is a very solid build for the deck um, i do plan on covering other builds of the deck in the future uh so keep that in mind as we uh explore brilliant stars uh the list is going to be in the description 
um, but obviously this is my list it might be a little bit easier because you can't copy and paste it into anything yet brilliant stars is still far out um, stay tuned for me to co cover more of these decks on uh, the shuffle squads table uh, tabletop gameplay and on my own channel and uh, that's really where I'm gonna be uh, trying to focus on lately is a combination of current standard uh, event recaps and uh, upcoming brilliant stars so stay tuned for all of that and that's what we got going on with this video today peeps hopefully you enjoyed learning more about arceus v star and that you um maybe got inspired by this deck to build your own take or maybe you think it's great maybe you think it's trash let me know in the comments below that being said give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll catch up with all y'all real soon stay tuned for more great content right here and uh let's try to get to 10,000 subs asap okay peace out and have a great one i truly appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video it means the world to me and my goal with this channel is to spread my love of the game and knowledge with our entire Pokemon TCG community. If you haven't already, help Signal Boost this video to other Pokemon TCG fans by liking it, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Hopefully we reach our goals really soon. Check out this recommended video and have yourself a great day. Thanks.